everybody with Cooper TVX, Common Sense, Hassan Campbell. You done lost your goddamn mind again. Every every year you go off the goddamn deep end. So now you don't want to be black. Now you don't you why you don't want to be black, Hassan? Why you don't want to be black? You can't handle the pressure. You can't handle niggas going against you on some shit. And you want to go let me friends and, and, and invite white people to be your friend. They don't want to fuck with you. They see your bullshit. You, you, you fucking up your core audience. They not loyal. Black people are not loyal. You have not been loyal to your thighs, nigga. Hmm? You haven't been loyal to your thighs at all. Talking about the black woman this and the black woman that. Wasn't you beating her? Huh? You talking this goddamn loyal shit, man. You 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 went off the deep end with this. Now the gloves is off. Cause we see. You get a little resistance. And you say the dumbest shit I ever heard in my goddamn life. Remember when you disowned your kid? Should we just run through the do the Hassan bullshit? Huh? You secured a nigga that demolished your fucking thighs and emotions and in your mind mentally. Remember? You be fucking a woman, and all of a sudden your shit will go down. She say you fucking them bitches. And you said, no, nah, just a crazy thought came through my head. Remember? See, this is the shit that nobody remembers of you saying, my nigga. Hmm? You are backwards. You want to go after the people that didn't agree with you or called you on some shit. But you're going to go over the people that fucked your goddamn mind up. To, to the point you go to fuck and you can't do shit. I want you to to play with your thighs. Maybe that'll goddamn help. Maybe that'll alleviate some of the goddamn tension. Tell her you, tell her you, you like the thighs play with. Tell her that. And if she say no, will she be disloyal too? I don't know what you're talking about. You want me to do with his thighs? I don't know what to do with them. I don't know why he's so worried about his thighs. You have a track record of this, man. Every goddamn year, here you go. On some bullshit. All this over 10 AJ. And now because people fuck with him, you goddamn, you goddamn think that, that, that you know, that people jump ship. No. No. It's shit that people don't agree with in Bibles. It's shit that people don't agree with on the streets. Hell, and they goddamn house, they parents, they but whoever. It's gonna be some disagreements. But you want them niggas that throw tension tantrums if shit don't go your way. I, I know your kind. Mm hmm Yes, sir. I know your goddamn kind. One of them niggas that fall out in the goddamn aisle. Fall out. Kicking and screaming and yelling, making a goddamn scene. Just like when you had them cops over there with that gun. Remember that? He was on the phone with him. He was a convicted felon with a goddamn hammy. And told him to come get it. Do you forget about that? Hmm? You, you scared the fast food bitch. You beat up one of your one of your biggest supporters, Derek. You told this man that you was gonna be, his mama was buried in your goddamn backyard. But you ain't say shit out of pocket to Bam. He even gave you a picture and told you to go handle that. And your little ass jumped up and was gonna go handle that. Knowing that he done damaged your goddamn thighs and your goddamn mind, but you gonna go 
try to kill this boy for sticking up for his goddamn self. What type of nigga, man? What type of nigga is you? Fuck the, fuck the big hats. Fuck the glasses. Fuck the curl. Fuck all that shit. What is your angle, nigga? Why do you go against everybody but the person that scarred your dumb ass? Hmm? You ready to go fuck up a little, an innocent kid? You was ready to go kill an innocent kid who made his way out of that fucking situation by doing whatever the fuck he had to do. Some shit y'all didn't do. Some shit y'all didn't do, man. And he did it. And who gonna, who's gonna come get him? That's what I'm talking about. That's how they caught, that's how, how they made slaves. That's how they made slaves. They had the blacks go catch the other blacks. Bam, what are you doing? And you was in so much love that you was, and, and then you got on uh, Ronald Savage's head. Because you was mad that he was messing with, 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 with Savage shit too, so you was jealous. You was fucking jealous. And you went and got damn Savage. I mean, come on, man. What the fuck are we doing? Do you not get it? You, you can't be an activist and try and get the truth to the kids, everybody, when you pull shit like this. This is what makes it, your whole shit is just bullshit. You off script, nigga. You came in as a victim. You done milk the fuck out of that. You don't even go there no more. I guess the thighs are, 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 are um, back to normal. Huh? After you do the victim thing, you try to go out to the other people and you trying to fucking clear bam. You said you can't fuck because bam is in your goddamn head so goddamn tough. That you feel like it's wrong. You feel like you're doing something wrong. You feel... <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you are so fucked up. You feel like you're doing something wrong, my nigga. And you securing this man. You securing the man who broke your goddamn security by fucking punishing your goddamn thighs. Where was your security skills when he was goddamn punishing your goddamn thighs? And you got there with the Bluetooth and shit on. And, and, like, like you got down. Black people ain't loyal. That's some shit that just don't go away. I mean, what it is, what we is. We can't change it. We can't die ourselves. And that's it, what it is. You got to respect the elite. I ain't never mentioned no shit like that. He never said I didn't want to be black, ever. The fuck? Me saying that is saying fuck my parents. Fuck my brothers, fuck my sisters, fuck everybody. That's black. No. No, nigga. They weak. Are you crazy? You go on that goddamn cotton field and, and, and get whipped and don't have shit sleeping on the goddamn rock floor. If that's weak, then I don't know what. I know what is weak. I know it is weak. And that's the, the control of your thighs. Now that's fucking weak. That's. You loose with them. You loose with them. So your shit is weak. It's been penetrated. To the point to where. You don't want anybody else but that. Oh yeah, bam. Took my dog to the hospital. And um, got this expensive medicines for it. Um. Uh, you know, because that's one thing that Bam can do. Yeah, he can pay off his goddamn evil deeds. So you was basically nothing but a prostitute. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Remember you tried to have a man in a wheelchair suck your dick? Hmm? You wish you wasn't black. You want all your white friends. Go get them. Because they ain't going to fuck with you either. Once they find out what type of nigga you is. 
you a goddamn don't, you don't need to drink. You just don't need to drink. You can't handle no goddamn drink. You don't need it. You don't need it. Uh uh. You don't need no liquor, nigga. You need an old duel. You need a goddamn old duel. You can't control your shit. You get like a a, a, a woman. All this trauma shit comes up, when, and, and every time you take a, a, a shot, you snap it. Shit flickers in your head and shit, and you fucking snap it. Next thing you know, you just goddamn what? You just blank red. That's the excuse they use. Blank red. And the cold part that when your mom and 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 and, and look. Rest in peace to her, man. I lost mine too. I lost mine too. So I know how that fucking shit feel. But when you was on there crying about the situation. And and, and, and hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. All you got had wrong with that was that you did that to this man and you told him that you buried his fucking mother in your backyard. You said you didn't want to go deal with your mom, Dukes, because y'all was getting into it crazy. You was going to get all kind of whoopings. So instead, you went to Bam's house and got your thighs plowed. That was better. His words. His fucking words. You said the KRS one need to be put down. His children need to be put down. Because they foul. Remember? See, people don't have the clarity. And this is what I talk about history. Know your fucking history. If you don't, this kind of shit could run and you won't even know nothing about it. If you think it's new, it's not. This nigga does this shit every goddamn year around this time. Everybody want to stick up for him and, man, fuck all that. Fuck you sticking up for him. Look at how he act. To the whole black audience. He just said that y'all wasn't loyal, wasn't trustable, was scared as all get out, and he didn't want to be with y'all. He wanted to change his colors. He don't want to be a crip no more. He ready to be a goddamn blood. Get the shit together, my son. Cause, cause, cause you throw one of them goddamn emotional fists that you throw. You do it every time. You could count on that. Common sense. Excuse me for that. Got a little fucking hostile. Had to calm down. I know you understand it. When this nigga's on his bullshit, he think people forgot. Salute Sinetta. He remember, he know. Sinetta know. Salute Sinetta. This shit is nothing new. Because you know, this nigga from Bronx River, he get fucking busy. He get busy. Y'all are talking to a delusional person. That should be in a fucking insane asylum. Because he got shit that he needs to work on. He need to go seek help. A, 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 a counselor that he can just open up to and tell him about his shit. He might find out some shit. He might not. He might find what's really going on with him. And he might come to find out, hey, you know, it, since it's this type of world now and shit going on and shit's all backwards and shit, hey, you know, I might, I might like getting my thighs done like that a little more. I might be willing to do that a little more. I mean, shit, you already opened the floodgates to him because he broke it in, he said. He said this. Not me. So all this I'm saying, I didn't say this. He said this. Don't come on me with it. Go back and look. Do your goddamn history and research. They had them all in the room, he said. Like they were, like they were on the goddamn, um, you know, when you're in preschool, you get the goddamn, um, 
the um, break the um, grand practice member, and you got to do it somehow. You might break the one that's not even and shit. Yeah, he was in that, but instead of grand practice, they had Lou. Yeah, yeah, y'all heard it right. And they was making them get down with each other. It was on that um, um, Chris Stokes shit. Yeah, they was on it. Mm-hmm. Sure was. So then Hassan said. So they were all around each other grabbing meats. Having a gay old time. And point attended. I ain't gonna lie about it. It was point attended on that. Point and goddamn tip. How can you protect someone who broke protocol and abused your thighs without your knowledge? So you willing to secure this nigga instead of securing your goddamn legs or your goddamn sanity? And you willing to forego the ass was from Mom Dukes to go over here to the kid porn man showing you books of kid porn showing you how he about to thrash your thighs he like the bicycle episode of the different strokes he the bicycle shop man and you and that little black nigga uh, Dudley you and Dudley little Arnold Dudley up in there drinking wine Taking their clothes off. That's that's what you got going on, brother. That's what you got going on. I don't understand it. Every time, man, somebody need to reel your ass in. Because this is what you do. And people forget. So much going on in this world. People forget. And they ain't going to take the time to research. So I need to just let them know what's going on with you. I'm sorry about it, man. I'm sorry about it, man. But this is the bullshit you do. You gonna blame the black people. But you ain't blame goddamn BAM them for passing you around like goddamn hors d'oeuvre. Paying you. You don't even know. You been sex trafficked. You ain't even knew about it. Yeah, you been sex trafficked. You ain't even knew about it. You thought you'd just get some gifts and souvenirs. Nah. Nuh-uh. They, t- they took it out of ass. They took it out your thighs. Yeah. Go ask Tommy Sotomore. Go ask him. Tommy know about it. Tommy know about it. We need to get together, man. If you can't, if you can't control this emptiness in you, this anger in you because you got um, Stockholm syndromes. White people ain't gonna be the same for you. They ain't gonna help you shit none, none. They gonna fight you the same shit. You mad because we believe you was on some bullshit or just 1090 Jake shit. And you was. And so since we got a mind of our own and can think for our own and see through the smoking mirrors, you mad. T Line Jake ain't this shit to you. So I ain't lip making money off a of black paint. Nigga, how many people out here is making money off a of goddamn black paint? Who? Leo Cohen? Yeah. Jimmy Ivy, of course. Should we keep going? This is what happens, man. You get bitter. You start getting the fucking... You want to stir up some goddamn controversy. You need to be real the fuck back in. I knew it was going to come. I knew it. I knew you was going to say something so stupid and off the wall. As soon as I heard this tonight, Jake shit. I'm like, oh yeah, he done found a target. He done found a goddamn target. Every t- every year, y'all check a look. It's a target. It's, it was Sionetta. It was Derek. And who else? Oh, Black Tonight Jake now. Uh, before, who was? Oh, uh, 
Bullet Stardy, Pellet Stardy, Pellet Stardy too. He was at Pellet Stardy. So what? Uh, Talking bad about Pellet Stardy, man. He needs that every time. It's a jump start. It's a jump start, but hey, it is what it is, man. But you ain't gonna pull the wool over my goddamn eyes. And a lot of niggas' eyes, you ain't pulling it. We ain't for that bullshit. We can see right through you, nigga. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So you gotta just do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. Cut off the black people. You go over there, hang out, eat some caviar and shit, and go enjoy your shit. It won't break. It won't work. It won't uh, fuck with us, nah, nada. Not nah, nada. Boom, we are you, nigga. Peace out, nigga. Peace and love. They be kicking your ass right back over here. I should have never left my black people. I should have, I should have been stuck. And I'm sorry about that. You be on there crying. First, you got to set your phone up. You got to set it up so you get a perfect shot. Mm hmm Let me see if I'm more sympathetic on this side. Or, or, or what do you think? I'm sympathetic on this side? This side look a little more? Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. Um, I'm sorry, my people. And then here come the tears. You know when I get a little bit of, like when you outside of Bronx yelling, screaming. Talking about getting people to kill you out there? Attention. You a goddamn attention hoe. Anything for the attention. Set your goddamn camera up like that to get the best shot of you being goddamn pathetic. That's pathetic. God damn it. Comments.